They made their living in a variety of ways, like fur, lumber, trading, shipping, the slaves' trade, and trapping. Most colonists were farmers who cleared large areas of land by hand to grow crops. Corn was a popular vegetable because it could be eaten by both people and animals. They grew flax, wheat, vegetables, and tobacco. Some colonists mined for iron to send to England. But there are jobs like a clockmaker, a barber, a tanner that made leather, a milliner that sold clothing and sewing supplies, or there's an option of being in the shipping business. New York lagged far behind both New England and other middle colonies. Schools were poor and well-to-do citizens were obliged to hire tutors for their children. For a large proportion of the children, there was no adequate public system at all. The New York colony was not dominated by a specific religion, and the people of New York were free to worship whatever. There were Catholics, Jews, Lutheran, etc. In 1704, the Dutch influence was still strong in the New York colony. Many houses were built in the Dutch style, using bricks of different colors. Dutch houses had a stoop or a wide, wide high doorstep. Dutch doors were split in half. The bottom could remain closed while the top could be open. New York is located along the Atlantic Ocean in the Middle Colonies. New York has mountains, plains, and rolling hills. There is a river that runs through New York called the Hudson River. There are some Native American groups called the Lee Nape, Wapinger, Monse, Monacan, and the Montauk that lived. The Duke of York was the founder of New York. Robert Fulton built the first efficient steamboat. Peter Stuyvesant, last Dutch governor of New York. Margaret Cochran Corbin was the first woman to fight in the Revolutionary War. Now the home of Brunkhouse Museum in Greene County, New York, is the oldest structure in upstate New York. This National Historic Landmark was constructed in 1663 by Peter Brunk when New York was a Dutch colony. The Hewnett Street Historic District, located 80 miles north of New York City in New Paltz, dates back in 1677. It is the oldest continual inhabited U.S. settlement. Now the home of Bronkhouse Museum, Bronkhouse in Greene County, New York, is the oldest structure in upstate New York. This National Historic Landmark was constructed in 1668 by Peter Bronk when New York was a Dutch colony. So does this colony have all the things you want? Well then. So come and buy our colony today. For a price of $5,654.99. And call 1-800-COLONY.